Well, as we continue here into another weekend of August, we're feeling a little bit more like fall as we were holding on to gray skies and some good rainfall accumulation over the last 24 to 48 hours across much of our area. Now, those scattered showers are going to continue to remain, and we will talk about some isolated thunder as well as we are noting that some warmth is going to move back in. Though that cool field hugged much of the area into our Thursday, we settled mainly into those 50s, but getting back towards those 60s, 70s, even 80s, will continue to be seen as we roll into the weekend and into next week, but that's going to still be paired up with those daily chances through next week, and we need the moisture. Now, the moisture that we've received here the last day or two does not feed into this drought update, but what we did see with this drought update, which ends precipitation on Tuesday, does show there still was some expansion there of that severe drought region, so continuous spread of drought has been noted here through this week, but with the rainfall that we have for the next week, there may be some at least relief in this drought update next week. So we'll be comparing this drought update to next week's, but we got a week to get through these wet weather conditions. And here for our Friday, we're expected to stay with a very similar day to our Thursday. Gray skies, limiting those temperatures into the 50s to potentially some 60s. Getting to the 60s will be dependent on if some cloud cover can break apart. We have overnight showers that are going to be lingering, especially along that I-80 corridor, but we're going to have two regions that we're watching. One, there's going to be a wave across Colorado. Colorado, and two, there's going to be a wave to our north. So we get in the middle ground here where some breakup of the cloud cover is possible through our Friday afternoon. But then into Saturday, there's that another ejection of a wave that moves in that will keep us battling some cloud cover, some fog. We've been seeing that in some of our valley spots. Be difficult to break apart with how much moisture we're working with, with one, the rainfall that is reaching the surface, and then the dew points that are also within our atmosphere. But definitely some decent rainfall potential will continue to take over the region. Some daily amounts exceed even a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch will continue to keep us with that potential of bringing some alleviation again to that drought. Now we are expected to start to see some improvements. Temperatures do trend to try to get towards those 60s. We're not climbing through those 60s. Scottsbluff still holds the 61, Cheyenne at 65, Lusk at 65, but there is some warmth there that we can start to see pulling its way in. And with some warmth, that is going to help to feed into some instability. Not expecting severe storms widespread across the area, but we'll have to watch for some storm threat as that warmth can cause for some of that storm activity to flare up, but also will allow for at least some thunder activity in showers and thunderstorms that will be around for our Saturday. And Saturday is going to be the first day that we return back to more of a summer pattern where morning sunshine will be around Saturday morning, but then afternoon is going to bring that stronger thunder threat. And with that morning sunshine, that's what's going to start to dial those temperatures back up towards those 80s. But again, that's going to have to feed into also flaring up more of that thunderstorm coverage.